Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Davis is under control by Nike and LeBron James. The look collusion is at the highest levels. He's got the rich Paul in his bag. He's going to do anything to make sure that LeBron is with, that AD is with the Lakers. We have to stop him now. We have to get him out of that mind control. We have to find him. We have to talk about it. Now! Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey. 901 Shelby Drive. Look alive. Look alive. Niggas. I mean, you already know who it is. It is your boy Lewis once again back on the Lewis Basketball Network. And I am back with another one with another banger with yet another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about it. We have to talk about this. So, once again, your boy, the Rich Paul, out here with the La Collusion at the highest levels. You ask him, what is he doing? Ladies and gentlemen, we already know what happened during the regular season with Pelican superstar Anthony Davis, Lakers superstar LeBron James. They played a game in the regular season against each other. Anthony Davis didn't look interested in the game in the way that the, he was playing. And then after the game, LeBron does this. They meet up, and he tells him this. Goes up to it, whispers sweet nuts. You tired of playing with the Pelicans, right? He said, look, well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get my man. We're going to go out together. I'm going to take you to Applebee's, man, because I know you love Applebee's. You love that two for 20. You, you order anything on the menu, and I got you. All right, I pay for it. You know, I paid Dante Jones' his technical foul fine during the finals, during the playoffs. I got, I got you, man. Yeah, this is what I do. I'm the Brian James, man. See, I'm a, I'm, I'm a kid from Akron, Ohio. You know, I won three NBA championships. I'm a four-time NBA regular season MVP. I'm a three-time finals MVP. I'm a 15-time All-Star, man. 15-time All NBA player. You know, you know, it's like, you know, and I'm not even, I'm not even supposed to be here, right? Giving him the, giving him the, the speech. The La Life speech is what he gives um, Anthony Davis, right? Anthony Davis, man, sounds interesting, yo. Would you like you like to play for the Lakers, and you know, and carve out your own legacy? <laughs> to carve out the le legacy, you mean, right? He said, "I'm gonna get my boy. We're gonna go out to eat, man. We're gonna drink some wine. I'm gonna have you coming out, coming drinking a little wine to the game and stuff like that." Anthony Davis says, "Yo, sounds dope, man. Sounds dope, right?" And Chris LeBroussard coming out here talking about that. Anthony Davis, if he was to somehow Rich Paul gives him and brings with the Lakers, I, I think it would be great for the NBA. So LeBron then can have another La Super team. See, here's the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Davis is a slave puppet. LeBron has got him on strings attached, okay? He's got him on the La strings. He is attached to LeBron James because he is a La puppet, okay? LeBron is the la mastermind of this whole operation. Because now Rich Paul, first of all, Anthony Davis signed with Clutch Sports. During his contract, he told the Pelicans, it is time for me to move on. The Pelicans said, you're going to do that to us? No, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna handcuff you. So how LeBron tries to, is la handcuff in your mind? And he has you as a la prisoner right now in his head, in your head? Guess what? We are not going to trade you to where we want. So now, Anthony Davis has the Celtics, or has the Knicks and the Lakers as his primary destinations, right? So now, ladies and gentlemen, now reports are saying that Rich Paul has already warned the Boston Celtics about saying that if you were to trade for AD, that he's only going to stay there for one year. What is that telling you? You're basically saying, well, Rich Paul is doing his job. Yeah, he's doing his job, all right. His job is to get Anthony Davis to sign with the Lakers because Anthony Davis is signed with Clutch Sports, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, excuse me, got a phone call. Hello? Yeah, Adam Silver? Yeah, this is Rich Paul. Yeah, I, I don't I don't I don't like the fact that um LeBron's being coached by um one of his one of his fellow draft members from the O3 draft class in Luke Walton. Yeah, yeah, he coached the Warriors, but anybody can coach that team. He don't know what he's doing. He can't coach a lick. Coaching LeBron, he ain't going to respect him. He's part of his draft. LeBron won three championships as the main guy. What, what did Luke do? He, he played behind Kobe. And I'm better than Kobe. And he's better than Kobe. He's damn better than Kobe. Everybody knows this. Man, get the F out of here, man. I'm, I'm telling you, he's not the right guy for the job. Me and my camp, and we're letting you know that, okay? So you better reconsider... And get rid of Luke Walton. Oh, and by the way, 
I'm gonna make sure that um, AD does not go to the Boston Celtics. I'm gonna make sure that he don't go to the New York Knicks. And I'm gonna try to rip him from the Pelicans so that the Lakers can once again give him a bag of Lay's potato chips and little 25 cent juicy juice to try to make sure we get AD. All right, click. That is what Rich Paul is doing, ladies and gentlemen. Here's my thing. It'd be one thing if Anthony Davis plays out his contract with the Pelicans. But now he's telling the Pelicans, oh, no, you know, it's time for me to move on. I need to I need to carve my own legacy, man. I need to be in control of my situation. That's understandable. But you still signed the contract with the Pelicans, and it's not over yet, Anthony Davis, which is why I'm telling you that you're going to look real stupid by the time you sign with L.A., LeBron's going to be 36 during the season, man. Are you really sure that you want to do that to your career? Because if Rich Paul is good at anything, if there's anything he's rich in, soil rich in from his name, is he's rich in toxicity. He is rich in collusion. He is rich in thinking that he could control the NBA, that he calls the shots, along with the mafia boss in LeBron James. He thinks he's calling the shots. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's not the fact that, yeah, you could say that he's doing his job, but he's trying to get him to go to the Lakers because he's low-key trying to see if he could try to get some of these players so that LeBron can form another super team, which is why I told you, ladies and gentlemen, why Kevin Durant's injury looms very large. I told you LeBron is breathing new life that Kevin Durant is injured. That's the thing, because now it's given LeBron the opportunity in his mindset that, that, hey, I can beat the Warriors now so that I can run with my narrative that the Warriors have, oh, I, that I've always had them in my head. They can't beat me. When we already saw what KD did to LeBron, deflated him so bad that he had to wear his wife's scarf on his cast and say, claim they had a broken hand after game four of last year's finals. Exactly. So this is what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. And it's like, I don't understand like what Anthony Davis is thinking, honestly. Because remember, he's with Nike. <laughs> LeBron is the ambassador of Nike. <laughs> he is Nike's number one marketed guy right now. LeBron is the face of the league in the NBA currently, but we don't know for how long it's going to be. And... I mean, this is this is this this is just what it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's 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 what I'm just that's what I'm saying, and that's what I'm trying to talk. If Anthony Davis did not allow Rich Paul to do this crap nonsense, this la bullshit, I'd be totally cool with it. But I will say this, and I do agree with Rich Paul on this aspect. Danny Ainge, ladies and gentlemen, some of his decision making, yeah, the D in his name for decision making for decision as a decision making. Has not been great. I mean, because look what he did to Isaiah Thomas. Claimed about loyalty, ended up trading him. Signed Gordon Hayward to a big contract. Was trying to get him to start telling Brad Stevens in his ear so we can maximize his effort to try to trade him and say, look, man, we have a he's a very good player. Because remember, Gordon Hayward was an all-star the year before he signed with the Celtics in the offseason for the amount of money that Danny Ainge offered him. The problem is Danny Ainge's decisions have backfired on him. Anthony Davis's dad has made it very clear with the, treat, with the way that Danny Ainge and the Celtics organization treated Isaiah Thomas. I don't want AD up in there. I don't want AD up in Boston because he doesn't trust that organization. And ladies and gentlemen, if we're looking at the Warriors organization, we're talking about Joe Lacob, Bob Myers, and, and the training staff of the Golden State Warriors with the doctors. And along with the along with the La Media, the La 36 media, calling KD a whole bunch of names and forcing that dude to play, and he's gone, and it's just wanna be like, oh, it's their fault. Listen, Kevin Durant obviously made the decision to play. But they also get the blame because they did that, too. They stuck it to his mind. They questioned his heart. They questioned his toughness. He does that to prove you wrong, gets injured. And then you guys want to want to want then want to go back and then try to change the narrative talking about, oh, Kevin Durant shouldn't have never played. 
Yeah, you're right. He shouldn't have never played, but that's not what you said. That's not what you have said for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. For the last month, that's not what you guys have not been saying, especially when the Warriors were pulling off those victories against Houston and Portland. That's not what you guys were saying. All of a sudden, now you guys will want to say that? Bullshit. Bullshit. Wait, wait. Alert, alert, alert. That's what this, that's what this all is, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's why I'm like I don't really trust Anthony Davis, man. I said this this dude is acting like a clown right now, and it's like he's not even in control of his, he's not even in control of his decisions. He's not even in control of his life. Rich Paul is handling everything for him. Yes, he's an agent, but he's showing you that Anthony Davis can't think on his own, bro. He can't. And when and when he realizes the mistake that he's gonna make, you're gonna see what happens, man. I'm telling you, Rich Paul. Le Rich Paul, the only thing that he's rich in is toxic, toxicity, collusion, and he is a cancer. Just like his homeboy, LeBron James. Just like his homeboy. But anyway, this is your boy, Lewis, man, back with another one. Let me know what you guys think about Rich Paul telling Anthony Davis' agent with the Boston Celtics of saying that if he's going to try to go there, he's, you're only going to get him as a one-year relative. I agree with Rich Paul on that just because of how Boston has treated their players these last couple of years looking at Isaiah Thomas. I agree with him on that. But let's be real. The reason that he's doing his job is for one reason and a run reason only. To help LeBron James along with the NBA and Adam Silverspoon. That's the bottom line. I don't care if you get upset at that, but it's the damn truth, and I see right through the BS. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. As always, bless up. One love. Peace. Thanks for watching. DJ, you already know the deal, man. Come on, run that baby, man. Come on, let's, let's run that, man. Run that damn outro, bruh. Searching for the bag and the prize. Hey. On a mission looking for them bad guys. Can't run no play up on my head, I'm real wise. Look at his eyes, why I think he traumatized. Take me as a joke, I'ma hang him on the road. Cause where I'm from, we don't play like that on the outside. Better not free, cause we know you gon' choke. Top behind my back, where your shots back.